Good morning, greetings to another video. Today we're going to be doing Mamto Hill Climb, which we were basically we're in Edale, which is in the High Peak in Derbyshire. And it's just this climb is not even on the top 100 climbs. I don't know what is going on because it's a beautiful climb. Um, so, yeah, it's 2.1k, an average of 10% and it maxes out i think around 15 so it gets a little bit pinchy in places uh, it is quite foggy we've just descended it now and it is pretty misty so that's what you're gonna have to see on the footage so i reckon let's go i think i don't want to take this on or just wear short sleeve i'm undecided my hands are quite cold though anyway um also the reason that there is no heart rate i do have my heart rate monitor on i'm gonna whip it off now actually um because when we set off there was no power on my Wahoo. And I was like, oh no, what, why is there no power? The battery in my power meter has gone. But then luckily, it's the same battery that's in the Wahoo uh, ticker. So I just sw basically switched it over. That's one thing that I love about the Stages power meter. So I know a lot of you ask like, what, what power meter do you use? Um, because you can just use any of the batteries. There's like a TO, um, 2032 or anyway they're just ones that you can get everywhere and that are using everything so i've been able to change that so that's why it's the no heart rate so let me stop babbling and let's get going on the climb right so let's go you can see i'm just coming into edale there it is honestly i know i say this about all the climbs it is such a pretty climb um so you can just see that i'm just starting the that's where the segment starts just there so actually i had live sex driver live segments on so that is very handy and a good little tip. If you don't know what it is, it's basically you start um, the actual segment on Strava um, and then you link that up to your, like your um, Wahoo or I think Garmin do it as well. Um, and then it just shows you, it shows you actually the live segment. So it will show you like if you're uh, ahead or behind your like previous personal best, which is quite handy. I actually turn it off though, to be fair. <laughs> I like to know where, because it, it shows you where the segment starts and finishes. Um, but I don't actually have it on because I have a lap screen. In fact, I'll tell you what I have on the data screen. So when I'm actually riding um, on my Wahoo, I've set it up. So on my data screens, the data that I'm looking at, I've got three second power. I've got lap time, lap distance, cadence and heart rate. But obviously, as you know, this time I couldn't use the heart rate again. So sorry about that. It was either heart rate or power. And obviously I'm all about all about the power. So yeah i'm just setting off as you can see even there it's like seven eight percent so it kind of starts off quite gradual and there's like a little steep little ramp um so yeah actually i should explain what's on the screen if you've not if you're not used to watching these videos i actually have done like a, basically a series of loads of famous popular climbs um with all the power data on so yeah top left we've got my cadence underneath that my speed the little map is the actual segment of the course then the bottom left is is the main thing which is my power data and then on the bottom right is the gradient of the actual climb um just for reference i, I actually I wonder if i can get this up as a actual stat um my watts per kilo because obviously it's having power is kind of it's good but if you don't know what i weigh then you kind of you don't know how hard i'm pushing so i weigh around 64 kilos so yeah you can work that out if you want to like what my what per kilo is so yeah just just getting stuck in i've not done one for a while because the last one like the hill climb that i did was butter tubs it was a really hot day i'm sorry i'm wiping my nose wiping it on my trousers well my shorts again so yeah there's nowhere else for it to go to be fair um when you're doing an effort so yeah the last one that i did was butter tubs and i'd just done a lot of big long days out basically in manchester paris and all these big big days big rides um and i've done a fair few hill climbs and i just got a bit fatigued and the heat and that just all caught up so i had like a little rest week went over to northern ireland um just rode around there all steady and then come back and then i'm getting back into my training so yeah and this is what i love to do i love doing efforts like this like i love doing long days out but i also love doing like just efforts on climbs climbs are just my favorite thing and i guess if you're not someone that loves climbs i would say just do more of them i promise the more you do them the more you i don't know you just they just you just find them easier i remember the first time i came up here i was like this is an absolute wall of a climb and then the more i did it the i don't know it just doesn't seem seem as bad so as you can see yeah my watts 
to be fair, I'm not, I've not really got any kind of wattage in mind. I just remember the last time I did it, it wasn't really an effort the last time I did it. Um, and I think I did about 260 watts average. So yeah, you can see it's just getting a little bit steeper and I'm just getting out the saddle, having a little um, ride up the steep bits out of the saddle. And that's another tip, practice getting out of the saddle. If you are someone that is not a big fan again, get out of the saddle and just practice and practice and practice doing that. Oh, it's so misty as well. And actually we weren't going to do it because we thought maybe it's too misty and not see anything. And then it, we waited a little bit and it cleared. And I, I actually think it does look, you'll see it in a minute, it just looks beautiful. Like I actually just think it looks, looks stunning. So yeah, I'm trying to keep my watts basic, try and keep them steady, but they're kind of a little bit all over the place because the actual climb is kind of, it's not a steady incline. It's kind of a bit steep here, then it flattens out and then it's steeper again. So yeah, I'm just, just doing the best as I can. And also, again, I think this is just how I learned to ride and how I'm better with power. If it is steep, I'm able to kind of put more power. As though when it's flat, I just can't put that power down when it's flat. I don't know why. I'm just way better on a climb. So I guess that is my strength rather than flat riding. So, yeah, talking about recovery, the, the last video I did actually was all about recovery. It's so important not just to keep smashing loads of climbs. And if you are seeing... That's, I think that's why I like seeing the data because that is objective and I could see that actually, I, I, I know I felt not great, but that's like a very objective way of looking at it. And actually my, I just couldn't push what, so I was like, I knew I needed to have a little bit of time to recover. But look how beautiful that looks. It looks really like eerie and it, to be fair, it was quite chilly. But I just think it is just a beautiful climb. I might even go back and do this again so you can actually see all the views behind. Because as you get higher up, you can just, honestly, the views are incredible. Oh, that car looks a bit bloody fast behind me though, didn't it? To be fair, drivers on there are really good. But yeah, I'm just, just sticking at it, just getting my head down and just stuck in. Um, just looking ahead. Yeah, I'm, like, I know a lot of you have asked, like, what do I think about or what do you think about when you're doing a climb? I try not to think actually about anything. All I'm doing is turning the pedals and just listening to my breathing and just, it's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, I guess meditation, I guess. So this is where the steepest bit, so this gets to like 17, 18%. I think the actual, on Strava, it says 15%. But yeah, 15-ish. again blowing the nose because it was cold my nose runs anyway every time i ride every time i climb i get a little runny nose a little dog nose um so yeah and then now it just flattens out and you'll look at my sorry i had to blow my nose my watts because it's flattened out i just i'm just not so good I'm not so good on the flat so it, it picks up again in a minute but let me know if you've done mam tour other people call it mam nick as well um, because Mamtor is actual like, I guess the walking climb next to it, and it's kind of on the other side. But I always call it Mamtor, and that's what the that's what Strava says, and that's what Strava says. That's what Strava. That's 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 right. That's Strava. Also, I'll put a link to my Strava. Every ride that I do is shared on Strava. It's got power data on there. Also, if you want to have a look at any of my routes that I do and want to kind of steal them, if you're ever kind of in the, any parts of the country that I'm in. But also I was gonna say, so tips for climbing, I know I've done these videos before, is cadence. So my cadence for this overall was an average of 88. Um, I try and aim for about 90 if I'm gonna try and do an effort. So just cadence, and if you can't get the cadence then just get lower gearing. Like I run a 40 cassette on my road bike. Um, there's a whole, I've got a whole video, I'll link that video below if you are interested in knowing how you get a 40 cassette to fit on there. So I've got an Ultegra group set and it fits. Um, and I love it, especially because I just like climbing. You just don't get the fatigue in your legs. But again, I don't even think I'm in the 40 year, but you can still push out the watts. I think a lot of people think if you've got this, you know, huge cassette, you're just going to spin and you're not gonna be able to put any watts out. Obviously I can, so I'm doing like, what, 310, 320. And we are getting towards mm, almost near the end. I'm just looking up and I'm like, where's the end? Because all I'm doing when I'm looking down is I'm, I know that the segment is 2.1k, so I'm kind of trying to pace it, knowing how much of the actual climb is left. And it's just fun just going all out. Like, it doesn't mean anything. 
it is literally just a bit of fun. So definitely get out and have a go at some climbs and just getting your times down. So I think that is how I've got fitter over the years is just doing climbs time and time again, just pushing myself each time, trying to get quicker. Look how pretty that looks. You might think that just looks, if you're in like in California or somewhere that's really lovely and warm, you might expect that looks so bleak. I just think it looks just, I don't know. I think it looks very pretty. And there were loads of rogue sheep actually. So if you are ever going to go and do this climb or descent, there are rogue sheep around there. So yeah, I'm just not thinking. I'm just thinking, well, all I'm thinking is there's not much of this climb left. I'm just going to go as hard as I can in a minute. And to be fair, I don't think I actually fully give it everything because after this, I did a few more like laps up to get pictures. Look, all those sheep, look, I love it. They were such little sheep. They're so lovely. Um, yeah, so a lot, when you see people do these hill climb championships and stuff and like they go all out and they like, I know people that haven't been able to walk for a few days afterwards because they've gone that hard. And I, I kind of wish I could do that. I don't know, but it's just so much fun. You got to go out and do it. Also, would you want a video of how I actually film these videos? Because everyone asks, like, how do you actually film this? I'll do a video on that for you as well. Or the next one that I do, I'll kind of give you a little behind the scenes of how we actually set it all up and the camera and stuff like that. So now we're getting towards the end. So I'll just tell you very quickly my stats for the segment. Uh, I got 10 minutes 42, which is about two or three minutes off my last, like, effort. Uh, I got an average of 293 watts, cadence of 88. And actually, I was like 64th woman. So there's, I mean, that's not a bad time to know that there's that many other women that have gone out and smashed it. I love that even doing like an okay time, I think it's an all right time, is still 64th. So I need to get, I need to get fit and get back there and do a few more efforts, I think. But then this is the end there. But look how pretty that looks. And then that is it. That is the end of the climb. Oh. How nice was that this morning though? It's like nice and cool. But Jesus. Apologies, I was blowing my nose all the way up that. How is that not on top 100 climbs? I don't know what Simon Warren's on about. Because that is honestly. One of the best climbs, I think, around here. It's not Winnets, but I also think as well, um, I can't get my breath back. By doing some of the steeper stuff, that didn't seem as steep. But I remember first coming up that thinking, this is a literal wall. So I guess just doing more steep stuff makes the other steep stuff not seem as bad. Oh God, we have a minute. And I'm going to go down and get some pictures for the thumbnail. So, see you later. Hang on. Yeah. Oh. 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 Hang on. 